today I'm here with a new video and it's day number two in my Nabla Cute Week. And I'm of course going to play with the Coral palette because this is number two. And it looks like this. This has an amazing red shade. This one, I love that shade. But I'm actually thinking, I'm planning on doing a light pinker look. So I am going to use these three only. I think we will see how this go. This might be like one of the lightest looks I've done in quite a long while. And um, I just, I, I, I guess that I am the only one that cares about this. But do you see my hair? This is my super natural hair. I haven't had anything in it since I, and it has air dried. Uh, do you see? Is this the flattest hair in the world? I think so. I was planning on curling it, but I was like, I ain't going to do that now. Maybe later, but not now, <laughs> but okay. I am going to prime my eyes and dig into the Cute Palette Coral. For this look, I think I just will go in with feelings of this one in my crease and on half of my lid and then I will take I got you on the rest of my lid and I think I will put mandarin over feelings feelings out here I don't know but we will start with the pink one and it was such a long time since I used this palette oh and this is very pink I do really like the idea with the cute palettes and um, I like look at them as by the one that you love the shades from, but now it's just me. I have them all, but I think it's a really good, either like a complimentary palette or if you maybe want a palette to add a little bit extra to your look. I think especially the nude one that I used yesterday is really like, I guess a lot of people can have it as their everyday palette and maybe this one as well if you really like pink. I do not use makeup every day to work, but I think like if I would, I think I might take one of these as my everyday palette. This is actually such a nice pink shade. I know that I don't use it that much because like always when I'm digging into this palette I just want to use the red one. So that's why I was like okay for this look I'm not going to use the red one even though it is my favorite shade. But yeah I can't use it every time. So now I'm going in with the pink again on here. And do you think it's boring that like I almost every day in every video do the same kind of makeup look? I'm sorry about that. Okay, this pink shade is so so good. Like really really good. And I think it's a really nice shade of pink. It's kind of vibrant but like not too vibrant. So now we'll go in with the pink shimmer on the rest of my lid. Here. It's not that often that I do these kinds of looks. Like these lighter kinds of look. Like dark looks is it is my favorite. I love to do darker looks, a little bit more grungy looks, but sometimes I guess it's okay to do the looks like this. So I will go in with this one, Mandarin, and take it on the pink out here, and I take fluffier bigger brush because this is more, I would call this a topper shade, so I don't know if this will make such a difference when I have no glitter primer or anything but I just want something 
I rather have a shimmery eyelid today than a matte and shimmer. I rather do a whole shimmer lid. I can see it a little bit. Not super much. But it gives like something. Is this a kind of boring look? <laughs> I guess it is. Or is it maybe just so that I'm not used to doing these light looks? So every time I do them, I am like, is this all? Okay, the only thing I'm not super thrilled about, I this pink that I took in my crease, I think it's maybe a little like too pink. I would love to have a lighter, yeah, maybe, maybe this one from the nude palette. I have that in my crease as well, but now I'm using the coral palette, so that is not a way to go. But I will go in with a fluffy, fluffy brush that is clean and try to make this a little bit softer and now I don't have any eyebrows on and I think it will look better with my eyebrows on but this is really 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 pink like really 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 pink I, I do not know what I feel about this I just wanted to get into the red shape and this brown and this one, but no. I think every time that I've used this palette, I think I have used the red one. And like, I can't use the same shade over and over again from a six pan palette. No. So, okay, I will take... I will fix my the rest of my makeup. And I will choose a lipstick from Nabla. I'm going to try to only use lipsticks from Nabla this week. And I think I know which one I want to go with. So yeah, I will fix the rest of my makeup, put on my lipstick, and then I come back. And yeah, I'm not super thrilled with this look. I guess if I saw somebody else do it, maybe I thought it suit them better than it suits me. I don't know. Maybe it will feel better when I have my base on, my brows on, and a lipstick. So I will fix that and then I come back. The finished look and I do like the eyeshadow more now when I have everything else on. On my waterline I took Peach Fuzz. I don't know how many times I have used this the latest but it is in a lot of my makeup looks. And I took Blair on my lips, that was a limited edition liquid lipstick from Nabla. It is not my favorite color, but I think it goes good with the look. So this is my look a witty coral. I never know, cutie palette coral from Nabla. And uh, yeah. I really like this shimmer. This is good as a topper or an inner corner or if you take a glitter primer. And the pink one, I almost said purple. <laughs> the pink one is really good, but the red shade is amazing. So I, I like this cute palette, but if it weren't for the red in this, I wouldn't have liked it as much as I do. Tomorrow, it is going to be with the Platinum palette, and this is one of my, I think this is my favorite cute palette, it all looks like this. Yeah, I know, this is for some maybe the most boring cute palette, but I really do like this. I don't know what to do. I have to figure that out, but I know which lipsticks <laughs> I'm going to use to this. So yeah, I really hope you like this, and I hope that you are looking forward to this week. It is going to be so fun, especially to dig in to, I think, the Wildberry. Because the looks I've done with this, I haven't been that thrilled about. So I'm going to try to do a look that I will really like with this one. So, yeah. <laughs> if you don't want to miss out the rest of my novel week, please subscribe to my channel. And I hope that I will see you tomorrow 
for hopefully an amazing look and it's going to be a red dark lipstick. Every love, I will see you tomorrow. Bye!